have already seen the models that we can use to express ability, okay? Now we are going to see which models we can use for obligation or prohibition, okay? Um, we have here the models must, have to, don't have to, have to, didn't have to, will have to, and won't have to, okay? Must is used uh, in present. For example, I must speak English with my teacher. I have the obligation to speak in, in English with my teacher in, this, in the English classes, okay? Uh, have to, don't have to, they are used in present. I have to speak Engli in English with my teacher. Now, how can we write a, a, a sentence with don't have to? So I don't have the obligation. I'm not obligated to speak in English with my teacher. Now uh, we have have to or didn't have to. They are used in past. For example, I had to speak in English yesterday at the restaurant. Now, how can we write a sentence we didn't have to? Let's write the same sentence, but we didn't have to. I didn't have to speak in English yesterday at the restaurant. Okay. And we'll have to or won't have to are used in future. For example, I will have to speak to speak in front of the class tomorrow. I won't have to speak in front of the class tomorrow. Well, now the, ex the models that we can use for prohibition are mustn't, I'm allowed to, is allowed to, and are allowed to. We can also use uh, I'm not able to, isn't able to, aren't able to. I think there is a mistake in this one. Uh huh. Yes, there is a mistake. Uh, in here, we are going to change able to for the words. Um, yes, we can use for prohibition, I'm not allowed to, isn't allowed to, and aren't allowed to, okay? Uh, we use these models uh, for prohibition, remember, when we don't have permission to do something or when we have permission to do something, okay? I am allowed to speak, uh, speak what? English, Spanish? Spanish in class. Spanish in class. Mm -hmm. I am allowed to speak Spanish in class. And the negative will be, I am not allowed to speak Spanish in class. Mm -hmm. Then we have, was where, yes, was allowed to, were allowed to, wasn't allowed to, weren't allowed to, all those models are used in past, okay? The example says, I was allowed to speak, to speak yesterday in class. Now, how we, can we write it in negative? I wasn't allowed to speak yesterday in class. And the last one, the last models are will be allowed to, won't be allowed to, and they are used in future sentences. Sentences, sentences in future. We have to write the two examples. Remember, allowed means that you have permission to do something, okay? And if you say, I'm not allowed, or she isn't allowed, or I wasn't allowed, they weren't allowed with the negative, it means that you don't have permission to do something, okay? It's the opposite. So how can we write a sentence in here? Um, in future, using will be allowed to, an affirmative sentence. Well, I'm gonna write here, I will be able, able allowed uh, to, I will be allowed to speak um, Spanish, in class, I will be allowed to speak Spanish in class. And the negative will be, I won't be allowed to speak Spanish in class. It means I won't have permission to speak Spanish in, in class.